Hello again. And this special up angle is dedicated to Emma, who taught me that up angles are totally the shit right now. So I hope they are, otherwise I'll just look silly. What I want to talk to you about today is numbers. I want to talk to you about YouTube numbers and Facebook numbers. Recently I started vlogging and I've uploaded my videos to YouTube so far, but it's pretty difficult to grow your YouTube audience. So not too long ago, I decided to actually post one of my videos to the Facebook page. And what I found out was kind of interesting, I think. First of all, it got quite a lot of views. The video got over 500 views, which is quite a lot for my numbers because most of the time my videos get around between 80 and 100 views. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, that's really cool. Maybe I should post my videos to Facebook more often. But when I saw the average viewing time, it was 21 seconds. I was like, man, that's really not helpful. Because of course it's nice to have a lot of views, but if nobody actually spends the time watching your videos, what's the use? Seeing that Facebook had so many views, it was kind of impressive. When I went back and uh, checked the numbers on, of the same video on YouTube, they were a lot lower. But the viewing time actually was a lot higher. On Facebook it was around 21 seconds and on YouTube it was around two and a half minutes which is way more impressive. So I think it's a nice way to post your videos on Facebook to show the people in your network because you'll probably share that movie what you're doing but you should keep your videos on YouTube and hopefully by showing the people on Facebook what you're doing in the future they might be easier to convince to check out one of your links and head over to YouTube. If you have the same experience or different experience, please let me know. And I'd love to know how you grew your YouTube channel or have any tips about social media or social media marketing. Let me know. Good morning. It's Saturday, it's weekend. We made it through another week. Nice job. So today I have two things that I actually want to tell you. Uh, first of all is uh, what's inside this box. And the second thing is why I actually vlog. A lot of people have been asking me, oh, what are you doing with that camera or what are you recording? And basically what I always tell them is I just record whatever I do. It's kind of like a, a simple short answer, but in reality it is the truth. I think a year or two ago was the 1st of 2nd uh, of January and I decided to take a look back on Facebook. I decided to take uh, a look at whatever I posted that year. I went on awesome trips with people, I had uh, friends over or I was visiting friends and I've done a lot of uh, stuff that was really cool and I almost forgot about it. It's not, I mean, when you see it or you read it, you're like, oh yeah, I remember that, that was so cool. Do I forget these things or they just don't pop into my mind when I look back in time? So I made a post with every cool thing I did that year and uh, I tagged the people that I did it with and everybody reacted really happy with it. They were like, oh man, it's so cool to, uh, to read it back and to see the pictures or uh, to sort of relive those moments and that's exactly what I'm doing with my vlog. To be honest, I just want to be able to in uh, in a bunch of years look back and for example the, the holiday to Kos. Uh, it's not that long ago. It, it's just amazing to me when, you, when it's 10 years, 20 years later, you can actually go back and sort of relive those times and I think that's the closest to a time machine that we'll ever uh, experience so that yeah, that, that's really cool, I think. Uh, you can say it's some sort of a diary, because life is short, you only live once, and when you're dead, it's over. Happy thoughts. So, that's one, that's why I vlog. So it's basically my diary, and to be able to revisit and relive those moments. And now the second part. I got something in the mail, and I wanna show you. And I already know what it is, but let's see if, uh, let me get a knife. Big knife. <laughs> oh, they're awesome. <laughs> this is what I did. 
focus. I made some sort of business card. <laughs> it turned out really cool. Use the YouTube logo. Just, yeah. Hope there's no typos. Why I actually made the cards is whenever I'm filming, a lot of people ask me like, hey, what are you doing? Like I just told you. And I thought it would be a nice idea to just be able to hand them a card. And it's some sort of offline marketing. And I hope that people in the streets will see it, be curious and check it out and hopefully like the content. If you're here because you received one of those, I received them yesterday, I wasn't home, but I just opened them and starting today I'll be yeah, handing these out, at least handing them out. I'm not going to be uh, some street promoter, but if you ask me, you can get one for free. <laughs> That's what's in the box. It's, uh, I don't know if uh, I can do this without every single one falling out, but as you can see, it's uh, <laughs> four of these giant stacks. So that's really cool. I'm really happy with how they turn out. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, press like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. If you look for I did what now come, I'm sure you'll find me. Feel free to leave a comment in the section below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time.